Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for today, the 10th. We're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and this reading may or may not be for you. Somebody is missing an opportunity or losing an opportunity, overanalyzing, stalling, uh, not headed in the right direction. They may not be giving to a situation or you may not be receiving attention. You know, somebody may is not reciprocating. Um, they may be mentally exhausted. Okay. Um, it's like they're going through a period of enlightenment and they're starting to see something through for, through a through a new light, you know, a new perspective, but there's a lot of analyzing going on. There's a lot of discontent. It's causing somebody to stay stuck in a non-victorious situation where there's no reciprocation, right? I mean, it's a one-sided situation. Somebody is is not getting what they deserve. And somebody's not receiving. It's like they're not receiving something. Mm. We have somebody here that is carrying a heavy burden. It's like they have a heavy load. They have a lot of responsibilities. They're overwhelmed, okay? Overwhelmed. Um, mentally exhausted, maybe even physically as exhausted. There could be some addictions that are uh, keeping them down, and they're needing to take back control to break free of whatever it is. Um, we have somebody here that doesn't have uh, the ability to follow through. They could be holding on to a dead end, one-sided situation, not being practical, not being reasonable, not being responsible. They have to make a choice as to, you know, whether they want to stay stuck or they want to, you know, move in another direction. They are at a crossroads. We have somebody that has uh, discovered a new opportunity. It's like they see another opportunity right in front of them. But in order to take it, they're going to have to step over the edge and, and leave the past behind. So we have somebody here that is, you know, they probably know it's time. You know, it's time. There's no more growth here, but they've been resisting change. Um, there's, it's, it's, it's time to take, to pick. It's time to pick these. There, it's, it's time. It's harvest time. It's, it's time. It's time to pick. It's time to choose. Um... They, somebody has been in a state of suspension waiting for something to change and the only way it's going to change is if you take action, you know, and take back control and, you know, face your own demons. So I feel like we have somebody here that is probably deciding to basically, this is like break free, personal freedom, this is, you know... Somebody has been wasting their time. In this this period of time that they've been in suspension, yeah, it's it's given them enlightenment and it's answered some questions, but it's also called, caused a lot of mental exhaustion. Somebody's clinging to control. It's like they're fighting destiny. Not allowing change. It's like that chapter, there's a chapter in your life that is needs to, is destined to come to an end, but somebody is reluctant to allow what is meant to be to be. This is making that conscious change, dropping that baggage, 
letting go of some responsibilities so that you can be more free. It's a time of personal freedom with these two cards. Somebody doesn't, it's, it's like they're not finding the inner strength to release and they need to find that inner strength. It's time for a change. It's time to head in a new direction, but somebody is not confident. They don't have the courage. They don't have the strength. They don't have the willpower. <clears throat> now, this is a uh, teamwork. Working together, collaboration, communication. It's like somebody keeps on, there's no follow through here. They keep getting distracted by something. Somebody keeps getting distracted. Could be by others. which is causing them to be stuck. Somebody is distracted. It could be by other people. Huh. Could be, we have a Leo here. We have a Cancer up there. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Capricorn over here. Pisces up there. Somebody's intuition is guiding them and they're keeping to themselves. It's like they know, they know that they need to communicate or they know that they need to put in effort to a situation, but they're not listening. They don't, for some reason, they're not listening. Their intuition is telling them something. It's time to let go of the past. Somebody's clinging to the past. Children could be in the mix. Children could be hindering growth, could be keeping a person stuck. There's an opportunity for happiness here. There's an opportunity for commitment. Um, this is a happy couple. This is releasing. Somebody may need, may be in the process of releasing a, I mean, a past couple a past marriage or something like that there's no reciprocation it's keeping them stuck and you know it's like it's time for a change and I think that we have somebody that knows that it's time for a change but they need to find the courage and the strength and the willpower to communicate and follow their own path but we have somebody that just doesn't have the backbone to do so they don't Therefore, they're not getting what they deserve because they're holding on to a dead end. They probably see that there's another opportunity to work together with somebody else, as we saw underneath. But there could be children that are hindering this movement. There's no movement because I think it's because of children. Or it could be from the past memories. It could be from the memories of the past. It could be because of both. Um, but that Ten of Wands reverse, that's making a conscious change. That is. That is dropping it dropping something it's it's letting it go when next to that hangman reverse somebody may be coming out of confusion and deciding to let go of this past you know it's they're giving deep thought to it that's for sure somebody's intuition is really telling them that it is time to let go of the past that's what that's what's going on here intuition intuition let go of the past get unstuck it's not meant to be. <sighs> yeah, there's a relationship here. There's a relationship that 
is I think is coming to an end. Tens are completions because I think there's a new discovery. There's an opportunity for an, for another coming together. You know, another relationship. And I think that we have somebody here that is too weak. You know, to move forward for some reason. They're just not strong enough to face their fears. I mean, I can't face my fears here, and I can't face my fears here. This per somebody can't master their emotions enough to face their fears to bring success to their life. To bring a successful relationship to their life. And it's because of the past, right? It is because of the past. It's because of probably children, maybe the memories of the past. Um, it's time for a change. There's been, it, this, it's time to break free. It's, it's time to take back control of your life and face your demons. So we might have somebody here that... Uh, is deciding that, you know, it's it's time for me to go after my wish fulfillment. I mean, the Nine of Cups reversed is really things starting to look up. Deep fulfillment is coming as soon as somebody takes back control of their life. If you are single, real love is probably going to come into your life, believe it or not. It's probably going to, or, or has, it pro real Real love has is either has come into your life or it is about to come into your life if you are single. If you haven't met this person, you can meet this person at a gathering, a celebration of some sort. Mm. Wow. Uh, yeah, somebody doesn't see another person's worth or somebody doesn't know their worth. There's a lack of growth here. There's a lack of growth. No nurturing going on. There's some pain here. There is some pain because she's not in the upright. There's some pain here. There's, there is. Could be some bitterness. Somebody may have their heart set on somebody that is emotionally unavailable. Somebody that's not ready for love and they need to break free. They need to break that bond. They need to take back control from the situation. They need to accept. They need to deal with the pain. Ooh. And take a new take a new route, you know, take a new adventure. So I feel like we have somebody here that needs to basically let go of something that has been weighing them down. It's like an unrequited love relationship, a one-sided relationship where there's no reciprocation. Whoever they're dealing with isn't really making any moves. They aren't. And it's like... It's time to go in a new direction. It is time to... I mean, in, in clinging to the control, fighting what is meant to be is, is not going to bring you growth. So I feel like we have somebody that needs to go out and have fun. They need to, you know, stop holding on to whoever it is that is emotionally unavailable and just take a new approach. And it feels like we have this... We it, Remember a minute ago... I just said, or two minutes ago, whenever it was, I said, if you are single, there could be somebody that comes into your life. I think it's unexpectedly. And you feel a deep bond with this person instantly. It's like, a, and I wanted to say this earlier, it's like an instant attraction. 
Um, and, and that makes sense with this Ace of Wands. So I, I should have just said it. It's like an, a, a love at first sight kind of thing. Um, but it's, you are going to have to, I mean, with the Two of Wands and the Two of Pentacles down here, you have to make a choice. You have to make a decision to basically let go of something that is weighing you down. Let go of the unrequited love situation so that you can have growth with this new opportunity. So I, you know, I feel like we have somebody here that is, it's almost like seeing another person's pain because it's very emotional. With the Empress reverse and the Page of Cups reverse, there's emotions here. It's an emotional time. It's like this guy is looking in at the pain Maybe this person um, wants to help heal a situation. This is isolation, time of reflection, taking a time out. It's also seeing the light, seeing the light about a relationship. We could have somebody that is... You know, I, you know what I feel like this is? It feels like there's somebody that has been watching. And it's like now they're deciding to come out of their cave. You know, they're, they're, they're just like they're deci they see something. They may see that somebody is hurting. They may see that somebody is in pain. This is a wise individual. It is. We have a very wise individual that may be like, you know, I can help you. I can help you to release some of these burdens. I can help you to be happy again, you know? So I'm not sure. So I, I really feel like we have somebody here that is, it's almost like they're coming to help. And I think it could be a real love connection. It seems like it's, 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 there's something that happens that is painful. You know what I mean? Where there's almost like there's, I don't know where, where this is coming from. Like where there's tears or something. It's an emotional time. And we have this person that is, is very positive and enthusiastic and knowledgeable that really wants to help. That's what I think this is. Ooh. Ooh. So there could be a loss of a relationship here. There could be. Uh, it's like it's out of your control. There's You can't control it. Things could be a little out of control. Things could be a little chaotic. Um... There could be a breakup. Somebody could be deciding to break up. It's it's out of control, right? There's It's out of your control. You can't control it. I think somebody has been clinging to control. They have. But this is something that you can't control because it, there's something that isn't meant to be. And it's, it's like it's going south. There's no more love there. There's no compatibility there. And... Somebody has been clinging to control with the Emperor Reverse and the Wheel of Fortune Reverse. They've been trying to control the the outcome in a relationship, and I think it, we've reached a point where you can't you, it's, you can't control it anymore. It's it's out of control. So anyway, I feel like somebody has become consciously aware that it's it's time to let go. It's time to let it go. It's time to let go. It's time to break free. It's like somebody is seeing the light. It's time to break free. Somebody is seeing the light. You know, it's it's time for me to go after happiness. So, because this is happiness and this is happiness. It feels like there's a one-sided, unrequited love situation that is coming to an end. I mean, i got to be honest with you. It's like they know it's time. I know. I know it's time. It's I know it's time to release this pain. 
it's like there's no there's no strength left. Somebody has has gotten very very weak. And they have to let go. They have to let go. This is too much to hold on to. There's no need to hold on to this. Sacrifice myself needlessly for a partnership where the, the person is not emotionally available. So I feel like we have somebody here that is really feeling there's a pain here. There is. There's pain. It's caused some sort of mental exhaustion or it's going to cause some mental exhaustion, extreme exhaustion where you just need to take a break. You may want to isolate yourself or the person that you're dealing with may want to isolate themselves. It's like we have this person here that wants to come in and help. You may be unaware that this person, you know, I think this person has good intentions. I think this person um, is trying to help a person heal. This is healing. Wants to help somebody, you know, be positive. Wants to bring light back to a situation. So I feel like we have a positive influence that wants to or is coming in and I think it's very spontaneous I think this person is coming in um, spontaneously to help a person heal and it develops into a deep bond so I don't know who this reading is for could be any sign we have Aries here quite a bit we have Aries Aries Leo Sagittarius we have Leo again here we have everybody all the signs are here Somebody has been basically holding on to an unrequited love situation where there's there's really no compatibility, right? Or there's no reciprocation. That's the very first card. There's no reciprocation. That's what it is. It's a one-sided situation. And it's like they have this desire to work together with probably the same person, but there's just no reciprocation. So it's like, but then they have this new discovery. You know, they see that there's a bigger, better opportunity and they just have to take that next step, but they're not taking that next step because they're too weak. You know, they're too weak. They don't have the courage. They're, they don't have the willpower. They don't have the strength. They can't master their emotions. So I feel like we have another person that is giving up. And that's what it feels like to me. I, I can't carry this. I can't hold this. There's too much overanalyzing going on. There's too much discontent. I'm sacrificing myself needlessly for something that is overwhelming. You know, and it's, it's causing me pain. And it feels like we have this other person that is looking in, seeing the pain, the, seeing the pain of the loss that the other person is experiencing. And they want to come help. They want to offer support. And it deepens into some sort of bond. If you if you are single, you could certainly be meeting somebody. Uh, I think it's spontaneously. I think it's it's. Uh, you you go out. You know. You maybe you go out. You go to some sort of picnic, or you go to some sort of something and you meet this person some kind of gathering some sort of celebration you meet this person and you're not even aware that this could turn into um wish fulfillment but i think it pro or happily ever after but i think it probably could oh but this one doesn't have good intentions king of cups doesn't i mean in reversed we have, a, we have somebody here that doesn't really have any love to offer. I mean, there's no love here. This person can't master their emotions. But there's two men. So somebody is probably making a judgment call, whether they like it or not, to break a bond with somebody that is emotionally unavailable. That's what's happening here because we have somebody else that is emotionally available. This person is available. This person is ready. Ready. We have another person. This person has been loathing 
This person has been loathing. They may have been unaware of a person's value. This person sees the person's value. One person doesn't, one person does. So, it looks like we have somebody here that is probably letting go of something that has been weighing them down. They may have been enlightened that it's time to come out of my cave and go after happiness, you know? Travel the path, travel the, the, the unknown path, whatever. Somebody is definitely seeing the light in a situation. I mean, this is seeing the light and this is seeing the light. So they're being enlightened. This is being enlightened as well. Somebody is absolutely being enlightened in such a way that, you know, they can't hold on to this loveless situation anymore. It's time for me to break free and go after happiness. So I think we do have a change here. I'm not going to resist this anymore. I'm letting go. I'm going after happiness. And I think it's because somebody makes some sort of movement in their direction. I don't know where that is coming from. Um, yeah, somebody is dropping out of a game. They are dropping out of a game. They're surrendering. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender to what is. And it's like, here comes your hero. Here comes your hero. I mean, this is my hero card. Here he comes. Here comes somebody to save the day, to help you heal from this pain. So I think we, we have a, a painful situation that is coming to an end. And it's like somebody is arriving to help a person heal. I don't know who this reading is for. Somebody has been in a one-sided relationship or a one-sided situation that has kept them stuck. You know, there's no victory and success there. And it's like now it's just, it's just, it's just like it's time to go after your happiness. It's like all of a sudden there's this new, there's this newfound confidence, this newfound desire or drive to just, oh God, it's time for me to be happy, you know. Somebody's taking that journey. It's like, yes, I'm going after happiness. I'm not going to play this game anymore. I'm not going to hold on. I'm not going to sit here and bleed. It's time for me to take back control of my life. So, yeah, that's what we got here. Somebody is heading in a new direction. Get be 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 prepared because it, I mean I feel like you're gonna meet somebody spontaneously that you didn't expect. I don't think you expected it. You may you may you may feel like you don't want it. You know you're exhausted. You can't do this right now. You're in pain, but this person. This person has good intentions. And that's what I have for today. Good luck.